This program is brought to you by BASF, the chemical company. Hey, welcome to Stuff to Blow Your Kid's Mind. My name is Robert Lamb. And my name is Julie Douglas, and today we are going to take a glimpse into the world of bacteria. Specifically, the bacteria living inside our bodies. Why, in our mouth alone, we have between 500 and 1,000 different species of bacteria. But here's the reassuring news. Only 100 to 200 of those types of bacteria can live in our mouth at any given time. So in this experiment, we're actually going to take a little sample of that bacteria. We're going to take it out of the human body. We're going to put it into a new environment, and we're going to allow it to thrive there so that we can view it in isolation. We're going to use a petri dish with something called auger, and auger is a gelatin-like substance that's really good at growing bacteria. Now, you can make this at home, or like us, you could purchase it online. So now I'm going to take one of these swabs, and I'm going to use it to swab the inside of my cheek. Like so. There we go. Now that I have uh, swabbed the inside of my mouth, I'm going to stick it in the medium, and I'm going to move it in a zigzag pattern. There we go. Okay, I'm going to seal this up now, and what we would normally do is just label it like the bacteria in Robert's mouth, and we would let it sit for about a week and see what grows. But before doing that, we're just going to slide that into a sealable bag, and this is really important. You're going to want to do the same thing, because you don't want to take this out and release whatever kind of bacteria is growing in there. In fact, when you're done with the experiments, um, you're going to do the same thing that we do, which is to get a couple drops of bleach, put it in that bag, and then dispose of it. And you're going to want parental supervision when you're doing that. Now, we have a few samples that we took uh, several days ago that have been growing in darkness in the little petri dishes for several days. And we're going to actually look at those under, under the microscope right now and see what's thriving there. OK. And we are going to use this digital microscope to check it out, which is about $50 at your local electronics store. And it's actually going to beam the images to our laptop here. So let's take a look at what is teeming in your mouth. Let's do it. Oh, okay. wow. I know, I'm going to guess it was barbecue or maybe pizza you had that, that day. That has nothing to do with it. But look <laughs> at them. They're really thriving there. Yeah, they are. OK, so let's take a look at the old armpit, which is a great place for bacteria, right? Well, there you go. That, yeah, that doesn't come as much of a surprise. But wow, it's, it's really amazing to see these, these things just thriving there inside the Petri dish. Yeah, OK. And if you've ever wondered what's inside of your belly button, well, behold. Look at that. Wow, look at that. The descendants of my own belly button bacteria now living inside a Petri dish. That's a beautiful thing. Now that we've gained a little insight into the bacteria that live inside our bodies, let's discuss what these bacteria do for us and what they have to do with the evolution of life on this planet. So what does it mean that we have all of these monsters living inside our mouth or in our navel? Well, it just goes to show that we live in a world of bacteria. Before we're even through being born, we are colonized by all of these bacterial creatures that want to live inside of us. That's right. Think about it this way. We have 10 trillion of our own cells, but we also have 100 trillion of bacterial cells. I mean, we are outnumbered 10 to 1 when it comes to bacteria on our insides and our outsides. Fortunately for us, this is what we call a symbiotic relationship. Okay? We are the house. They live inside the house, but they want to take care of the house. So they provide various services that really help us out. For instance, if I'm eating a slice of pizza, the bacteria help break down that pizza and turn it into the energy that my body needs. Other bacteria will help provide us with nutrients, and still other bacteria will protect our bodies against outside bacteria that could potentially harm us. Yeah, I mean, think about when someone sneezes and all of those germs come flying at us. That is considered foreign bacteria to the bacteria that is living in us, and that bacteria in us says, hey, hold off, this is my body and I'm going to protect it. So are they monsters living inside us? Yes, but fortunately for us, they're friendly monsters. So what does it mean that we have these single cell bacterial life forms, and then we have multicellular life forms like you and me. Well, we have to travel back all the way, oh, over three billion years to this ancient ocean. Yeah, and this ancient ocean actually contains a single cell bacteria, just as you spoke of. And this single cell bacteria gives us a clue as to how life emerged such complex organisms as ourselves 
sitting here before you talking. Right, this ocean is teeming with all of these little bacterial cells and then they begin to form these uh, symbiotic relationships with, with one another in the same way that the bacteria in my stomach have a symbiotic relationship with me. One ingests the other and then they begin to help each other. Uh, and then another uh, cell is brought into the fold and another and it develops more and more into increasingly complex multicellular forms of life. So that's pretty cool in and of itself, but stop to consider where actually this single cell bacteria came from. Well, there are many, many theories about how life here on Earth originated, but there is one theory called the panspermia theory that says that life didn't originate here on Earth at all. In fact, it originated somewhere out there in the universe. Right. For instance, you could have had this original single cell organism uh, travel to Earth uh, hitchhiking, if you will, on a little piece of rock that was jettisoned from Mars. It lands in this ancient ocean uh, between three and four billion years ago and from there begins to grow into new life. In the same way that I took that Q-tip, uh, touched the inside of my mouth, and transferred those bacteria into the petri dish, which then grew and blossomed into uh, the brilliant life forms that we saw earlier. This program is brought to you by BASF, The Chemical Company.